Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to my channel. I'm Linda and I'm going to do an unboxing of one of my 144 hobbies. This is a diamond painting kit which I've ordered from the Swedish web store diamantava.se and I will leave a link down below uh, for you uh, guys who want to take a closer look at it. Let's see. I will bring out my little notebook. And let's see. It's a picture of a moose. It's 40 by 50. I paid 309 Swedish kroners, which is about $31. I ordered it on the 25th of August. Uh, it sh shipped on the 26th and arrived on the 27th. But let's get into this thing. So this is from the company uh, where I ordered my first square diamond painting. The one with the woman and the wolf. The one with all the popping drills, yeah. I wanted to give them a second chance and I wanted to check out how their the round drills uh, were. So I found this picture and it's the moose is my absolute favorite Swedish wild animal. So I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how this one looks or I'm excited of how it's gonna look. This is how it looks inside. So this is the toolkit. So a little tweezer, even though it is a round kit, a piece of wax. I love wax, by the way, and a green boat with an opening here. Hmm. I usually use, well, I can show you another time. I use a bigger white uh, tray, which I enjoy, but it's good when you're starting out and you don't have any tools. This is great. And we have the diamond painting pen with the single placer. And we have a, hmm, could it be a six placer? Let's see, I got a six placer yesterday. Yeah, a second six, six placer. That's nice, I think. But no squishy. Let's see. Here's the drill. Oh, there's the picture. Oh, look at that. It's such a beautiful animal. Oh. Mm, I don't know how I should do this. Um. I think I will lay it out like this so we can see the back. Oh, I don't like the smell of these diamond paintings, but uh, if you look at the back of this piece, you can see there's a um, line here. And I guess that means maybe it's uh, two um, pieces of adhesive, maybe. But otherwise, I mean, the canvas looks beautiful on the back. I cannot complain on that. So I will let it rest like this and we should take a look at the drills first. Uh, 
Yeah. So this is the picture again. 50 by 40. And there's 36 colors. That's not bad. That's kind of nice. And the girl who owns the store, she has made the inventory check herself. Um, sometimes I like to, you know, take a look at which color there's the most of and that's, oh, my Google assistant just told me she couldn't help me with this. <laughs> anyway, uh, black is the color where there is most. No, I'm lying. It's 819. 10 bags of those. 810. I wonder what color that is. Anyway. I will not make an inventory um, check um, because once I get down to doing this one, I will check it out then. But I'm very curious of the eight I already forgot. Mm -mm -mm. 819. There's uh, some gold numbers on this bag. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Can you see? The bag is open. But I didn't get any spill. Hmm. Oh, here's the 819. It's um, some very light pink. And the pearls, let's see. Can you see that? Maybe it's difficult to see, but uh, not the pearls. The drills look actually very, very nice. But I've had bad luck with this color in um, what you call it, square. So I will just take an extra look at the round ones in this color. And they look really, really nice, very perfect. Very nice. Um, black is also a color where you usually have some bad quality, I guess very difficult to see on camera but uh, it looks very nice so far and i wonder if there's any um, what do you call it 939 it's also a typical color i find uh, a bit more trashy than the others, but there were none of that. But it looks very nice. Um, but we want to take a peek uh, on the canvas, right? We want to see the picture. And now I have to remember where's the one with. Oh, there. I have to take care of the the bag which were which was open, and put this in another plastic baggie. Yeah. I'm actually really looking forward to um, doing one of the smaller kits actually. And a round one. But 
I'm not even halfway on Arya Stark, so. It's kind of nice that there's a white background. It's easy to see the, the numbers. So that's a big plus. I'm just checking to see if there's any other open bags. So we have a key to the right. See you know this. Maybe I shall. I will zoom out a little. I think the glue is um, overlapping here. Um, And the glue, very sticky. Let's see if you can see the symbols. We'll try not to get a glare. Can you see any of that? They look okay, I think. Uh, but they have those black uh, guidelines training wheels, I think you call it. Um, and I think that could be a problem because they're very black. No, they're very black. Yeah, they're black. How black can it get? I mean, This is insane. Can you see the moose? Because I can't. I sure can't. canvas looks very nice though very very nice compared to the canvas uh, with the square drills let's see there's one of the horns the eyes and his uh, nose and up here is the other horn 
and his body. Very, very difficult to see. I'm sorry about the glare. Um, but, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see when the drills are put down. And see how, how it's going to look, how it's going to turn out. here somewhere I guess not I thought I did yeah um, I'm not a, I'm not disappointed at all in this canvas not at all um, I think the size is really perfect um, it was very difficult though to see the de the detail of the picture of the moose um, so I hope it will show once um, I start putting down the drills Yeah, so that's it. You want to see the picture again? The thumbnail. It's a very beautiful picture. I love these animals. They are, they're huge. Um, did I forget to tell you guys anything about it? I don't think so. Um, yeah, but that's all for today. I um, I'll be back soon with a new unboxing, of course. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.